Hey Monday lovers, today's video is going to be a plan with me. So this is actually my first bullet journal and I didn't want to use any yearly spreads. I didn't think I needed any, so I just went straight into the monthly spread. So this is a September spread with like a back to school kind of theme because it is back to school month. At least for me, school started um, this month. And so I thought I'd give a few extra tips in the voiceover and leave a few comments or whatever about my bullet journal in the uh, captions so yeah so i guess my first tip is to really just enjoy your year um school is a lot of fun if you make it fun even if you're taking a lot of hard classes if you take opportunities to do things that you enjoy during the school year it can be a lot of fun and if you just talk to people like in your classes and stuff it's a lot more fun than if you just kind of stay quiet so i mean it depends on who you are obviously what your definition of fun is and if you're more social or less social but personally for me if i have someone that i like talking to in a class it becomes a lot more enjoyable because during my free time or anything else like that i have someone to talk to or if you have to do a group project or partners or anything i don't have to awkwardly look for someone i actually know someone that i'm friends with who i can work on an assignment with my second tip would be to try to stay on top of your homework as much as you can because personally like homework has cost me a lot and given me a lot like if i forget to do a homework assignment i definitely see it reflected in my grade um and on my tests so definitely do your homework it definitely helps and obviously time manage your homework and prioritize the homeworks that are in your harder classes or the classes you aren't doing as well in but do your homework and make sure you have enough time to do your homework and also do homework when you have free time during the school if it's like a lunch period don't do your homework use that to socialize with your friends but like if you have like 10 minutes or five minutes in a class because you finished a test or really early or you finish an assignment or the teacher hasn't started class yet just write down a little bit of your homework you can get a good amount of your homework done that way you know sometimes i do homework on the bus if i don't know anyone that's on the bus or if anyone, everyone's on their phones because i'm on the bus anyway i might as well use that time to my advantage so that's tip number two my third tip would to be to create a system that works for you organizationally so depending on which level you are in maybe your teacher is telling you what you need like oh you need a binder or you need a folder that but if they're giving you the freedom to choose definitely choose because more likely than not you're going to need a folder or a binder depending on which one you like that's up to you but you're going to need a place to keep your papers and then you're probably going to need either loose leaf in your binder or a notebook depending on a class and some classes you may not need it maybe you'll be using a device maybe the teacher just gives you handouts and you write on the handouts so just kind of you tend to have an idea like personally for me like for example if it's like a science class then i don't normally use a notebook for those classes um i might have like a notebook in my bag just spare notes so like for all those classes that i don't really use a notebook that often i have a notebook to quickly write down something but like for example for history i use my notebook a lot to write notes um and maybe you don't like using notebooks maybe your school has something like my school gives us surface goes um so i you you can use that to take notes using OneNote. and if that works better for you then definitely do that it's really up to you um like in middle school they used to make us bring binders and personally binders were an absolute mess for me like my binders always looked like it, there was an explosion or something because the papers were all the place all over the place i would just stuff papers in there i wouldn't have time at the end of the class to really put away my paper or hole punch it and all that night stuff so I would just stuff a paper in there and move on with my day and my binders would be super messy and they were really bulky and i personally don't like binders but a lot of people love binders so it's up to you just make sure you figure out what works for you and stick with it and just know that if it's not working you can change your system so i believe that this is tip number four um but that would be to take care of yourself you hear all these tips about how to do good and all that stuff but really it's important that you take care of yourself and your needs because if you're not doing well then you're not going to be able to do well 
in your grades and your performance and all that stuff and really the most important thing should be your health mental and physical over everything else because everything else doesn't matter if you're not healthy so just make sure you're taking care of yourself you know eat you know for food like i could definitely do a better job at eating breakfast in the mornings because it's so hard to wake up for me um so yeah just make sure you're eating the right amount of food drinking water throughout the day it's definitely harder because you can't like stop at a water fountain and just drink it like they do have cups at some of the water fountains at my school but just make sure you're drinking enough water eating food you know socializing with people like especially your friends and people that make you feel good that's extremely important um and just making sure that if something's too much for you or if a class is too stressful for you just drop it so my final tip would be to get familiar with their classes and how to study for them so before you select your classes the biggest thing is to just ask people about the class and even if you're already enrolled in a class ask people who took the class or who have had the teacher or even better who've done both because then they can tell you about the class and the teacher and how to what the teacher expects and how to do well in the class they're going to tell you a better description about the teacher in the class than the teacher themselves and then um, know how to study for the class you know like in world i know that if i summarize something funny and take notes during class i'll do good on the tests um and if you don't know how to do it ask people around you like for math i asked people how they study for math and do well and they said practice problems and then i tried practice problems and it works pretty well for me at least so just try new things and ask people around how they're doing good and ask people for help ask your friends for help i definitely have asked my friends a few times on homework like how do you do this so don't be afraid to do that um and really really know your schedule like where you're going next and all that stuff and like if it's like a block day if you have things like that know what like the irregularities of your schedule and then i would also say what does it know when your classes end that is so helpful because personally i know that in my experience a lot of teachers often don't know when the class ends they'll be like or they know when it ends but they'll like lose track of time and they'll be like oh when does class end and you'll be like oh it ends in 25 and that's in like three minutes so they'll be like oh, okay you know and if they're running over time you can just politely say like oh class is over i need to go to my next class um you know and it's also a good idea because like if you're taking a test for example to know how much time is left in the period for your test and it's good if you're like really bored or something during the exam sometimes it's like helpful to just see how much time you have left so it's really nice to know when a class ends and it's really important to know when lunch ends as well because you don't want to be late for lunch i mean to your next class um it's, i mean sometimes i used to just like go when i saw everyone else leave but now i know when lunch ends so it's a lot helpful more helpful in knowing when to leave or if i want to do something else during lunch to know when i have to start doing that so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to like like button and subscribe and hit the bell i make videos on stationery calligraphy and art every monday um comment down below on your stationery tips and what you thought of this bullet journal uh, make sure to check the description box for more videos to watch and remember to have a happy monday Bye bye